are new, my name is Mackenzie and today I'm bringing you three appetizers that are perfect for the Super Bowl. They are all super easy to make. All three of them are crowd pleasers and I know you're gonna love them. So I'm really excited about today's video because it is in collaboration with my friend Mindy from See Mindy Mom. I absolutely love her channel. I've recently started watching her channel and one of my favorite videos of hers is her pantry cooking meals. If you love cooking videos, you will love her channel. So you're actually gonna get double the recipe ideas today, which is even better. So Mandy lives in Oklahoma and she has been married to her husband, Daniel, for 17 years. And you can usually find her driving the mom shuttle for their three kids or in the kitchen making something for the channel. She is on her fourth year of YouTube and she makes the most delicious recipes. So make sure after this video, you go down below in my description box. I will have a link to her video. All of her Super Bowl recipes will be in that video. Subscribe to her channel, let her know I sent you, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so our first two recipes today are actually going to be crock pot dips. The first one is going to be buffalo chicken dip. I've made that here on my channel before, but everyone makes it different, so stick around and see how I make mine. I use ranch in mine. I know a lot of people use blue cheese. And then we are also going to be making a chili cheese dip. It's so good and it's so easy. I'm using these blocks of cheese here, but you could actually use pre-shredded if you wanted to, to make it even easier. Okay, so for the buffalo chicken dip, I'm gonna be using my six quart crock pot. You can use any size. You can use a smaller one. That one will work as well. The first thing I'm going to be adding in is this pre-pulled rotisserie chicken that I got from Walmart. This is so convenient and so delicious. Okay, then I'm gonna take some Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo Sauce. Now, I highly recommend going with the Frank's brand. I feel like it's a game changer, but you can use whatever kind of buffalo sauce you want. Now, some people like to add the whole bottle of this, but me, I don't like stuff that is too spicy. So I'll probably only add about half of this in. That is good enough for me. Next up, I'm going to be adding in one cup of this Hidden Valley Ranch. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with two blocks of cream cheese. And I will say, when I first made this recipe about five years ago, I was like, two blocks of cream cheese? That is a lot. Well, I tried to make it with one block one time. It was nowhere near as good. So trust me, you need both blocks. All right, can you tell me and the cream cheese have had some run-ins because it looks like a giant sponge right now. That's why I'm holding it in my hand like this. But you're gonna add one to this side. As you can see, we've had another cream cheese debacle. And I don't know about y'all, but cream cheese around here is so hard to find lately. Okay, after the cream cheese comes the shredded cheddar cheese, and you're gonna be adding two cups. But this buffalo chicken dip only takes about an hour and a half to cook. And then what you're gonna do is come in about an hour through, stir it up. I'll bring you guys along with me for that as well to let you see what it looks like and you will be good to go. 30 more minutes, an hour and a half total. Easy prep. This one's always a winner and it's always a favorite. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Let's check on our buffalo chicken dip. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it around because by now your cream cheese should start melting. And this last 30 to 45 minutes is gonna be nothing but cooking it all together. I can already tell it's going to be so delicious. All right, it's been about 30 more minutes, so we're gonna come in and stir this up. And this is all you have to do. It is completely done. Okay, so for the chili cheese dip, we are going to be using a little bit smaller crock pot this one is a three core, I believe. I will link both of my crock pots down below. They are both the same brand. These crock pots are the hearth and hand brand that you can find at Target, and I believe they're still available, and I would highly recommend either one. Okay, so the first thing we need is four ounces of cream cheese. So we're only gonna need half of this, and I'm gonna slice those four ounces into cubes just to make it melt a little bit faster. So cream cheese goes in after the cooking spray. So next you're gonna need some canned chili or you can use homemade chili. Any chili will work, any brand will work. 
So I love the cans that have the little can openers on top, but this one does not, unfortunately. So we're gonna be using our handy dandy can opener. And I know I asked this in tons of videos, but do you prefer a good old fashioned can opener or do you prefer an electric one? All right, we can't be leaving that in there. Let's use our long spoon and get it out. Next up, we are going to use this mild salsa. You can use medium or hot if you want. It just depends on the heat you want in your chili dip. On top of that, you're gonna add two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Okay, let's check the chili cheese dip. It's been on low for about an hour. We at least need to stir it up. I think I'm gonna give this one about 30 more minutes. Okay, so for the chili cheese dip, I'm only gonna make a small bowl of this because I feel like I've ate too much already. Okay, the next recipe I'm going to be showing you how to make is creamy chicken alfredo dip. Okay, this time around, I do not have a pre-pulled rotisserie chicken, so I will have to cook my own chicken and shred it. Over on this side of the stove, I'm going to have to make a roux to start off. Okay, so go ahead and add two tablespoons of butter to your skillet. So you just wanna let the butter melt all the way down. When the butter gets almost melted, you're gonna whisk in about two tablespoons of flour and go ahead and stir that together to create a roux. Next, you wanna go ahead and add about three tablespoons of minced garlic. Always overestimate garlic. Then add in one cup of milk and whisk until smooth. Okay, next we're gonna add in our cream cheese. I'm sure you guys were wondering when that was coming. Now you wanna go ahead and stir the cream cheese in until it is smooth and creamy. Another thing I love about this chicken Alfredo dip recipe is it is completely made from scratch. Next to this mixture, you're gonna add one cup of mozzarella cheese, shred it. A lot of you already do this, but if you didn't know, the best way to shred chicken is with a hand mixer. Okay, see how easy that was? That took no time at all. And I almost forgot you do need to add one fourth a cup of grated Parmesan. All right, I'm gonna play it by ear adding my chicken in because I used such a small pan this time around. Ooh, this chicken is hot. Most people actually mix in Italian seasoning. But I'm gonna mix in about a tablespoon, maybe more of nature seasoning. We're gonna add some salt and pepper, of course. So I'm gonna take this eight by eight pan and I'm going to go ahead and pour my skillet mixture into it. And before we put this in the oven, we are going to add a layer of mozzarella cheese to the top. It's about a half a cup. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the oven on 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes or until gold and bubbly. Okay, this is how I like my chicken Alfredo dip. I like it golden brown on the edges. If you listen closely, you can still hear it bubbling. Here in our house, our family likes to pair the garlic knots with the chicken alfredo dip. It is so, so delicious. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you got tons of inspiration for the Super Bowl. I hope you get to make one of these recipes. They are all so delicious and so easy. Don't forget to head on over and check out Mindy's channel. Her link is down in the description box and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.